What's going on guys? Geosnorite here. So in today's video we're going to talk about the Saigon jailbreak. What is the current situation with it and whether you should use it or not as for the first beta. Now I get this question a lot uh, whether you should use it or not and uh, it's normal since you know it's an iOS 10.2.1 jailbreak, the first iOS 10.2.1 jailbreak, so a lot of people are eager to use it. But you should really be careful when using a beta jailbreak and this is what we're going to discuss today. Now you probably know it's open source and this means that you can navigate here on GitHub in the issues tab and if you're using this jailbreak and you encounter any issues and any problems you can pretty much create a new issue in here and tell the um, developer that there are issues on your specific device just like um, all these people uh, already did in here. Now. Uh, it's important to know that this is a beta jailbreak and yes if uh, you did not get it already this is a legit jailbreak even though it doesn't work on many devices. You probably know a couple days ago the um, you know beta 1 IPA has been released. This means that everybody can now use it with or without a Mac which means a lot of people will be trying it and a lot of people want to try it to jailbreak their iOS 10.2.1 device. Now as you can see uh, the list of supported devices isn't very wide and in fact only the iPhone 6, 6 Plus, SE and 6S and possibly iPad Air 2 Wi-Fi might work with this jailbreak for the moment. I have seen a lot of you know opinions that this is not a good jailbreak, that this is a useless jailbreak since it doesn't support iPhone 5S no, or since it doesn't support the iPhone 7 and so on. No it's not a useless jailbreak. This one is a work in progress and um, Abraham Masri, the developer behind Saigon, is doing his best to improve it. But it's the first beta and as of the first beta the supported devices are limited. So in this case you probably would be better off staying off this jailbreak for the moment. Why? Well a lot of people who have tried this on their own devices report random reboots or report random problems with the jailbreak uh, you know, not working or after installing something the um, the jailbreak would not jailbreak anymore after reboot or um, you know it works from the second attempt or third attempt but if you restart your phone it will never work again or you have to try like like two days straight in order to get it back into the jailbroken state so it's definitely far from perfect and it's very important to avoid the um, you know initial betas since they're usually just as a release candidate you know as a proof of concept that it works and that it's being worked on but it's not intended for being used you know uh, publicly and um, yeah unfortunately you should stay away from it for the moment it's definitely a good project and I'm really glad it exists I'm really glad somebody took the opportunity to you know put Ziva and triple fetch and uh, extra recipe together and create a jailbreak and uh, yeah but it's still not safe for general public usage due to the fact that it's still in, in the first beta. There's still not a lot of support for all the devices, so that's a little bit of annoyance. And uh, the other thing is that there are still errors, there are still reboots and so on. So this might affect the normal user that does not know how to, how to debug these errors. So I would recommend you to wait for the final version or at least for a couple more betas until you try it on your own device. The project is definitely worth a try, but not for the moment and not for general public. If you're a developer, then the whole situation changes. You can help the developer Abraham Masri in you know by trying this out and telling him if you have any problems and if you have any idea how to fix some of these problems, you can of course um, send a pull request. But if you're not a developer and you just want to be jailbroken, I would stay away from Saigon for the moment since it's very unstable. Uh, that's pretty much it guys, there are no updates to the uh, Saigon jailbreak, it's the same IPA that was a couple days ago when it's been published, but um, I really wanted to let you know whether you should use it or not for the moment, because I am sure that a lot of people are jumping to install the Saigon jailbreak, especially those who are on iOS 10.2.1 and waiting for a jailbreak since Yalu. So yeah, just pay attention for the moment. That's pretty much it guys, thanks for watching, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated for more jailbreak related news and peace out!